I do not want that feral chasing me. Okay, let me climb up here because I'm a little bit lost. Oh, you can climb too. Interesting. Well, you know what I'm going to do to you. Oh, too bad. Yeah. Odin's beard. What is this? We're, we're still here despite playing in the lethal zone with a fresh start community. Didn't Undead Lab say that was ill-advisable? Well, I say fooey to them. Today, I would like to make our first power play. What we are going to do, I, I was told... Somebody wants me to find somebody. Okay. So I was told that it is a glitch that you cannot recruit people from allied enclaves and to give it another shot after reloading the game. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. We are going to go there immediately because I'm ready for another recruit. And not only am I ready for another recruit, I am ready to earn the money to move into our first advanced base. Yes, I am most ready for this, I believe. So, here we are. Over here. I mean, okay. That's fine. I, I didn't need that. Oh, look how many parts we have. Over a thousand. Like, I don't know why we have so many. Ah! Oh, it's so good. So, here we go. Full, full Gentio now you have sewing. You stink. No skill, Logan. Okay, you're a, you're a, probably. And who's the last person? You. Hey. Barton. Nope. Logan, buddy. I always had eyes for you. Yes, yes. I, oh wait, let's okay. trade first. Let's see what you've got. Oh my! You want to sell me a bundle of carpentry supplies at a discount price because we're such good friends? Yes, of course I'll accept. I, I'll buy this too. Excellent. Join me. What, did you just? Was that Spanish? Come help me out, hun. Was that? I don't know what that was. That sounded like Japanese to me. All right. So let's take him back to base. Yeah, I'm not going to trust him to wander home. I love how disbanding an enclave, everyone's like, Abandon ship! The base! The base is lost! Base compromised! Every man for himself! Red for the hills! But another Norma. How... Abnorma. <laughs> That's fine, though. That means that Norma should have more crap in it. And if that Norma has more crap in it, I will loot it. Okay. And this goes are. in. That goes in. And now I can dismiss What's you. Going on? Actually, let's, let's see what you have equipped. You need a gun. Let me grab you a gun real quick. Any gun will do. Including this gun. Yes. There we go. Access survivor inventory. Oh my god, they just got me some more materials. Oh man, this community. This community is making me proud. What's going on? Dismiss follow. Take care, SA. Okay, please tell me you are not the world's worst recruit. Anxious all the time. Minus five round. That is honestly, that is not that big a deal. We can we can live with that. It's just a single minus five morale. Not even that big of a deal. Okay, so we need 500 influence to move into the new base. Do we have something that we can sell? This is not done upgrading. Oh, we can install this mod there. We got one more. Let's check out what our morale is like now. Oh man, look at this. We're actually stable still. Oh, wow. Oh, recent new recruit. Okay, so that's it's about to take a dive. It's gonna go. It's it's gonna go back down, boys. So, do we have anything? Ah, oh, I might even sell some of these. Not all right of now. those, but some of those. Anything else I might want to sell? No, I don't want to sell guns. I need those for parts. Okay, now what we're gonna do is try to sell stuff. 
to get 500 influence and make our power play. <laughs> hey, old buddy, old pals at the Waffle Depot. Good to see you alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm How sure it is. We've got? Yeah. Here, here, you know you want some cheap smokes. Like, pay me money for cheap smokes. Look at this. You know you want that. It's so valuable, this note. We got a horde wandering in. No big deal, just letting you know. Oh, interesting. They are now sending in the Zumbos to attack. Good to see ya. Would you like to trade? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it to the test whether or not we are able to shadoobly boo the system. And now I will enact the methods of shadoobling real quick. And depending on who you ask, they might consider this an exploit. And I'm one of those people. I still want to see if it can be done then. So what we just did is for some reason the game thinks that when you change characters at an outpost, that you went home. And therefore it begins the siege, which is starting right now, as you can see, even though I'm not home. But one of the secrets about this game is that it does not simulate combat if you're too far away from home. Why? <laughs> we got fucking you're, you're as good, your right guess now. is as good as mine. No escape. Let's see what this guy wants. So what we're just going to do is just continue on our way while the siege goes on. Now here's what I've heard reports of. And the report I was given is that the zombies are just waiting at your home anyways. So it doesn't work quite as effectively. And we're going to happen to see that for myself. Whether or not that's true. Because if it's not true, well then there you go. You've just learned a way to not have to deal with sieges while simultaneously... Okay, I thought that was a plague bloater. While not having to spend the ammo. Though honestly, if you want to play legit, then spending, it, it's not that bad. You lose like, I think, three ammo. It's really not that bad. Okay. Over here. Yeah, you guys get it. Um, where's Wendigo? So what do you want me to do? Patty hasn't checked in lately. Can you go look for her? Right. Sure. I'll do it. Keep your eyes open on this one. Keep your eyes and come back in one piece. Are you, are you worried about something? Like, are you worried that it could be dangerous? Oh, wait. Let's see what they're selling while I'm here. Sometimes you can actually get some hey, hints. How you been? Let's trade, okay? Sure. Interesting. Okay, they're selling the Hunter's Bolt Scout. I don't want to buy anything right now because we are about to claim a base. Better enjoy the breather. And on top of that, uh, if anyone home? Are you there? About time someone finally showed up. Looks empty. Okay. There we go. A very simple rescue mission. I like it. As simple as that. Just grab them and get out. Very nice. Okay, while we're here, though, I believe we will check on... Let's see. So the claim is that this method doesn't really work anymore. We'll see about that. Won't we? All we gotta do is swing by our home... And plus, I can check out good old Abnorma. So the base should be surrounded by a bajillion zombies still. And it sure looks like it's not. Sure looks like there is not a soul here. I'm glad that's over. And there you go. So that is one way to deal with sieges. And as I said, you might think that's a little bit gamey, a little bit cheesy. Uh, what you can do is just go home manually and just leave the base if you want. And the reason, the, here's the reason, the argument I'll make for why I think it is not, is simply because the game doesn't really give you the option to run away without doing that. Like, let's say your base was getting overran. What, what would you do? Just fight to the death based on 
the moral grounds of like, good, like we follow the code of Bushido. Like, oh, our Lord would never allow us to simply abandon this base. We must fight to the last. So no, like you would obviously run away. You wouldn't just stay there and die. You would flee. And in the process of fleeing, you would cause the zombies to stop fighting because the game doesn't simulate combat once you get far enough away. We're back. Don't worry now. You're safe. I owe you one. Okay, so more quests down. Now these guys are allies. Would I want to recruit any of you? What, well, actually, first, let's see what they're giving me. They are giving me, I believe, a labor bonus. Which is okay-ish, hey, it's been? not the best. So you have no skills. You? you have no skills, but you also have close combat and gunslinging, which is pretty nice. Hey, you. And you have no skills. But at the same time, do I really want more mouths to feed? Right now, the answer okay. is no. I'm okay with it as we are. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy any of this. I think I'm just gonna leave, because you know, I can recruit them whenever I want. I think I'm going to leave them as it is. And I think what we're going to do next is... I'm going to chop this zombie up real quick. There we go. I'm exhausted. I need to rest. And what I'm going to do is let's go claim our base. Our brand new, shiny, awesome base. I think that's a super good idea. Okay, so the base I want to take is this one over here, the fenced warehouse. Why do I want it? It has a ton of building slots. No other reason than that. It's got a whole bunch of building slots. It has so many building slots that it is comparable to the container fort. And that is a base that is twice its size. It's not quite as good as the container fort, but it has the same basic facility options. It has two large facilities and six small facilities, which at the face value is the same as what the container fort has. So for a 500 influence four man base, we can have close to the power of the container fort, which is absolutely insane. I think, I think you could agree with that. You'll see it once we move in. It's like, as I said, it's not quite as good. So, you know, those of you guys who are like, oh, wait, 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 what about the container fort? That base is amazing. It is. The container fort is an awesome base. And it's still better than this fenced air warehouse. But the fenced warehouse is competitive in capabilities at half the population requirement and, like, what, a sixth of the price or something like that? Oh, yes. So, uh, welcome to our future home. First, we will need to get rid of... Ah, uh, you know, I'm going to go in melee combat. I really want to level up my fighting skills so that we can start getting that health. Uh, one thing that I think is really important on this difficulty, or really, once you get to probably... Maybe even Dread Zone. I've never played Dread Zone, though, so I don't know. But I can say for sure on Nightmare Zone yeah, and higher, uh, you don't want to think of health as a sort of defensive layer. It is literally a defensive layer, but it's better to think of health as a sort of... Basically, it's better to think of health as the amount of room for error, right? Oh, wow. Why are all these jerks in here? I am now set, and now I'm going to have to give them the loop the loop This base has got a ton of enemies in it. I guess that's some kind of new lethal zone thing. Like, bases are infested with jerks. Not too hard to avoid them, though, just on the basis that zombies, they don't have the best memory. Even though they do pursue targets farther and longer, they still have to follow sound. And if you can... Make them chase sound while you break line of sight. You can just get back into stealth. So we will, I guess, have to clean. It's almost like there's an infestation here. That's kind of cool, I guess. I'm, I'm like kind of neutral about it. I don't really care either way. Uh, I'll clean up that one out there later. Let's get rid of these guys first. Or maybe not. I might have a view on them. 
Now his back is turned. Okay, so the bloater exploded. I this don't know might why. Be a good place to set up a base. And since we shot him in the head, we know that the other zombies will hear it. So they're going to walk in. And now we can just give them the old third nose hole treatment. Okay, so I believe that zombie outside counts towards the quantity of zombies guarding the base. And the plague zombie too, apparently. You. Actually, no it doesn't. Okay. We can now claim this base. Nani? Oh, look at this. They've doubled the amount of influence it takes to enter bases. Okay, well, okay, that's fine. Okay, let's try this again. Welcome to our new zombie home. Infestation has been spotted. Please don't be at my old base. You probably are, though. I'm willing to bet that you're going to be at the old base. So I also, I sold a few extra chemicals in order to get enough influence to call another ally in, because allies tend to appear where your base is. And that means we are going to, whoops, what am I doing? I am going to call for another survivor. Hey, are there any folks hanging around who can hear me? I'm and let's sure get building. To to you. But these are probably going to stay so that we have beds. And okay. I think what we will build first is the infirmary will go in the side. We'll build the workshop over here. Oh, and uh, what do you know? Uh, one thing that's actually going to benefit us is our... The labor. We actually have a lot of labor. That is rather convenient. So let's go ahead and build... Oh, I don't know. Maybe a staging area, but not yet. I'm going to build a garden. That's something we're going to need. What else do I want to build? It's a good question. I, I haven't actually decided what all I want to construct in this base. Let's just build something in the meantime. I believe we will build a staging area in anticipation of countering future construction costs. Where are the residents? We want to say hello? Sure. Sure. Where? Where? Okay, let me wait for them to show us where they're going to be. We probably haven't gotten through all the dialogue. Okay, where? Yay! See that? They start out very close by. How nice. How convenient. I think we left our old car behind, unfortunately. I forgot to park it into a parking space, and therefore we have left it behind. Fortunately, there wasn't anything in it, though. Okay, let's go meet the new neighbors. They are just a hop and a skip over. I would be shocked if those two are not plagued. These two little, these little, this little strip mall over here. This place is always plagued, but I have no reason to believe it won't be. If it's not, though, that's free loot. Ah, as I thought. Not super plagued, though. We could definitely sneak some loot out of it without getting into too much trouble. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do, because we need influence. This is basically all about influence right now. I'll drive around like this, because we do have our allies here who can help us deal with whatever we find. Come on, is there a hole in this barbed wire fence anywhere? Well, this is not a bad base, like from their perspective. Project. Good job, everyone. Why are we building so quickly? Gosh, you guys are like really building. There we go. Oops. That was loud. They're they're building really fast. Like I I'm I'm not used to these kinds of building speeds. Yep. Oh, oh, they're coming for me. They're like 
Gotta get that player one. That player one is a jerk. Oh, hey, good. Don't let him get to me. You, you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to disappoint your brand new benefactor. Oh, I'll take one of these. Okay. What's going on, hun? Who do I need hey, to talk you. to? You with the shovel. Well, now that I have introduced myself to you, you know, I, I think you won't mind if I just raid your refrigerator, you know, eat all your food and stuff. Just, oh, it's a neighborly it's tradition really in special. these parts. I hope you have a rucksack of materials. That, that's what I would really like for you to have in your refrigerator. Okay, we get our, I think our first wit skill. Snake is still going stealth. Discipline is okay, but I think I will go with stealth over it. Because this character will be able to fast leap. Oh, 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 yes, very nice. Yes, yes. And also we can loot this power station. Very nice. Oh, we should see what these guys are about. Let's see what their stats are and whatnot. Okay, guys, what do you What's got? What's going on, hun? You got no skills, so Fidelia. Nice that you. makes you a potential recruit. We see what we've got. You're sure, selling gasoline good. and medicine. That's you, uh... okay. TV trivia. How about no? Hey, you. Another Congrats. mechanic. You're still alive. Potentially useful. The full list of things you sell. Oh, you're selling the model 1887 shotgun. Interesting. Not anything that I personally need, though. So let's. How do I get in here? Oh, there's a door. Did one of you hear this or something? Is that is that what you're moaning about? Yes, that's what it is. The door attack! Oh, too bad. Don't you love the door attack? The door attack is amazing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he moved too fast. He, he psyched me up. That was a big brain zombie, man. That zombie, uh, he's eaten enough brains to psych me out of the door attack. Door attack will actually work on ferals as well. Just gotta get the timing down, and yep, you open up the door, and it will immediately knock him out, and then you can give him the old screwdriver treatment. Pretty, pretty effective. Pretty, well, not against multiple ferals, but against a single feral, very effective. We are getting scraps of electricity from this, as one might expect from all of the utility-themed looting locations. Oh, and a wrench, too. Not only could that be a superior blunt weapon, it will scrap for about 50 materials. Which is quite nice. Otherwise, not expecting anything else from this location. Oh! <laughs> oh my! Like, uh, uh, ye of low faith, like, Fox should have known better. There was still better stuff in here. Okay, let's upgrade our infirmary. And that's it. We are, we need more materials. That's all we can do. Too bad. So sad. How, um, someone gave me a good idea to locate materials, but we will need more influence to accomplish that. Very good idea, though. It's something that I forget about because I don't use that ability all that frequently, and it's something that just slips my mind. Now, our base is really close by, so it's not hard to just drop this crap off. And then what we can do is loot this little strip mall area, or we could change characters because we are apparently getting tired. I'll stop right here just because we do have a lot of zombies just hanging around at the moment. And they will definitely hear the engine. Oh! Oh, I thought he was gonna stop. I thought he was gonna trip over, fall, and I was gonna stomp his face in. Okay, got a patrolling horde of plague zombies there. Not surprising due to the proximity of the plague guard. But it looks God, like this I'm building so sick of plague zombies. is possibly free of enemies. Nope, we got one right there. You're not supposed to hear this. You're supposed to be a bunch of dumb zombies that don't hear what I'm doing. Out of fuel. 
And they are spawning in. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? That would it wouldn't it wouldn't be state of decay without a bunch of zombies spawning in. Which means we're gonna need to give them the old loop de loop, just like this. And then fight them a little more on our own terms. Because these are plague zombies. They actually are worth fighting just because you get some plague samples. Oh, man, he's so sneaky. So sneaky. He spots me and then goes into stealth. I see you. The Needler. The Needler. Nope, can't see me through the walls. So sad, so sad. Oh well, a little bit of shooting EXP doesn't hurt. But I do want to loot these areas. So I am willing to eliminate the zombies for it. Even if we have to fit... Do you notice that these plague bloaters have a strange tendency to self-destruct I feel a little more frequently than your typical zombie not that I'm complaining it makes them a lot easier to deal with but still okay I think we're clear in here it sucks that we can't enjoy these quiet moments anymore which means we can get looted Okay, so we are expected to get a rucksack of food here, which is probably relevant considering that we will be... We've got one more mouth to feed, and there we got a luxury item. Uh, hunting for the rucksacks is not bad considering it's 75 influence to call in a rucksack. To find one, rather. And that's not a bad price. Not a bad price. Okay, those are useful for... Okay, now I can add this in. Wait, did that? No, not that. Add in this. Thank you. Very good. You guys can do it. And this is probably going to have the food ruck. And then we just need to take a look at those the strip mall where the play guard is hiding. I think I've searched everywhere I can. I have been hearing that people are saying that pop in zombies or spawn in zombies in locations that you scout has become a lot more common. Kind of annoying because I feel like that defeats the purpose of the scouting. Like the reason you're scouting is to find the zombies ahead of time instead of to have the zombies spawn and then be like, oh god, it's like scouting is actually making it worse. Let's check this one out first. I was hoping we'd have more company. Spoon and cone? Uh, we do need food. I got that notifier about us being low on food, so that's fine. That's nice. Okay. Ish. You would think that a... You would think that a spoon and cone, which is basically probably a frozen yogurt and ice cream restaurant, would probably have... Not energy drinks, but you would think that they would have luxury items. You'd think that it would have both food as well as luxury items, like like creamers or something like that. Because you know, I'm sure the How would I get this job again? I'm sure the actual ice cream has, you know, long since melted. You'd think they'd have something. Or even like cookies or something. I don't know, maybe the cookies have expired. I don't know. Now the play guard really doesn't care if we're here. Like we we can chill with the play guard. We just can't really, like... Nice. Wow! What is this? What? That's a lot of stuff. What? Two rucksacks of materials in a single location. What manner of witchcraft is this? The answer is Fox is kind of witchcraft. 
That's what I'm talking about. What is so heavy? What's making me weigh so much? Oh, those are 11 pounds. Jeez. I mean, I guess they are jugs of fluids. Fluids are quite heavy. Let's go get our prize. Two rucksacks of materials. Yes, please. Ugh, I can smell them hanging around. Canyon. Maybe you're smelling the giant play guard that's just kind of like chilling right next to us. That's fine, though. We are digging through this area looking for heavy. books. Come on, give me an instruction manual. That's typically what I expect to find in these little bookcases. We do need to hit the offices because the offices will I'm not have... Gonna find anything else here. The offices are going to have bookshelves. Or not bookshelves. Well, they are going to have bookshelves, but they're going to have more training manuals. And that's going to be one of our ways of potentially getting a computer's guy because instead of having Nobody to find a guy who knows computers, we can just find the book. Sud City Laundry. Laundry mat, not sure what I'd find there. Probably one of these knick-knack oh, locations. Okay, we got some more ethanol. Wow, we're getting a lot of ethanol. But these guys want materials. That's the main thing that people want. Materials, materials, materials. Okay, I guess we're clearing these areas out pretty efficiently. Though that does mean that we're not getting very good loot on some of them, but it, it doesn't matter. We just got two rucksacks of materials. You know, I'm not going to complain about the loot after getting two rucksacks of materials. Nail salon! What are you gonna give me in this desk? Something a luxury item? Mechanics textbook. Yes, that is worth some coin. Yes. I was hoping we'd have more company. And what do we have here? Another this time a computer, an office desk. Come on, give me something worth moolah. I think I've searched everywhere I can. Yeah, very nice. That is worth something. I'm going to have to go and finagle my inventory. Or can I even do that? I don't think... Well, let me check the fuel on my vehicle. Maybe I can free up one slot by putting some gasoline in. If it needs to. I need a break. Ah, uh, nah. It's not that big. Oh, I forgot. We have one slot remaining. Interesting how peace is. How interesting how peaceful it is, despite being right next to a play guard. Oh, speak of the devil. There is our company. Okay, let's go get our luxury item. And now we can get out of Dodge. All right, so let's go hop on over. I mean, they're really close by, which is really nice. And then we'll get to see what their ally bonus is, as well as what their allied sales inventory, what their, what their uh, Enclave inventory is. So overall, this should be... I think that might have been a blood feral. I'm not sure. I heard some kind of hissing pretty noise. Empty to me. I also could be hearing things. Fox is known to do that. I do not want that feral chasing me. Okay, let me climb up here because I'm a little bit lost. Oh, you can climb too. Interesting. Well, you know what I'm gonna do to you. Oh, too bad. Bruh. I completely forgot that Carols can climb. What a silly guy I am. I need a breather. And that's because I typically don't climb away from Ferals because they typically don't have head armor. Oh, okay, that's what confused me. There are two doors in, and yet both buildings are separated by barbed wire. Okay, that's what confused me. Well, there you got to see it, the old door technique on the feral. Blood feral or not, doesn't matter. All right, see ya. 
Ah, uh, we're okay. Here we go. You're all right in my book. Take care. Seriously. Let's see. They should give us 100 influence. There you go. 100 influence. So Perhaps we can now convert that alive. into another rucksack. Let's get down to business. So what are you selling at the max out? Wooden bat? You got the shotgun. You got a um, toolkit. This is pretty nice. Gas can is pretty nice. Medicine. Useful, eventually. Sell both of those. And let, I didn't check what's your... Okay, what's your there? ally bonus? It is... Recycling expertise. Parts income. Okay, let's see. They're giving us 50 parts a day. That is, you know, what's not insane, on, but not, also not bad. And it looks like some of you hey, guys are up? pretty potentially good recruits. T not TV trivia, though. Hey, you. Mechanics? Uh, probably going to go for the one that doesn't have a skill. But there, I don't want to recruit any. We don't need any more people until we're ready to start building towards an eight-man base. Oh, also, let's check. You're a trader. You're a warlord. You're a sheriff, and I think you're also a trader. None of my guys have become a hero yet. Not that big a deal. Okay, let's go ahead. What did I just do? I just activated something. Okay, I think I ate a snack. Okay, not that big a deal. All right, so let's go ahead and locate some Can materials. Can radio and see if anyone has a good lead on a scavenging place? Got people on it. Oh, we gotta wait for the dialogue. Got somewhere. Waiting for a response. Okay, materials left in Winchester Station. So, back over here, which is pretty safe, actually. But pretty good. How's our fuel looking? Looking decent. The car has supplies. That's fine. So, basically, we just spent 75 influence, but we gained... So we spent basically 75 influence and a rucksack of materials, but we gained 100 influence. So we should come out of this with a net positive 25 influence profit, as well as the fact that we just raised a friendly enclave into an allied enclave. The so overall, and you know, obviously we got to, you know, expend some resources and put ourselves in danger driving back here, but. Overall, I think that is a a good trade. Especially because, you know, we kind of have to nickel and dime our way through the lethal zone. That really seems to be a big part of it. Okay, so we are here. If you haven't used this ability before, what we got to do now is search these areas. Doesn't matter that they've already previously been searched. We just have to search these areas because one of them will contain a newly generated item for us to loot. First, we're going to have to deal with these annoying, screaming zombies. Oh, overshot that significantly. I believe that's a screamer. Yep. Sure, not sure if it'll matter, though. Or do you hear me? Nothing to find here. Okay. All right, so this, this spot, like, it gives you three locations. And that spot was a no. This spot was a no. Now process of elimination has Look, brought it down to this nothing. one. And now we've already looted this. Locked up tight. <laughs> Sight nor scent of Zed. But this object will mysteriously be here for some reason, even though it wasn't previously there, because the game just generates the That's item for you. The road now. Shazam! <laughs> It appears the car doctors has expired yet again. And I, once again, also do not care that the car doctors have expired. What are your skills at? You're so close to gaining your, your completing your wit skills, but... Ah, I should put some fuel in. Keep thinking that. Ah! Oh. 
Oh my god, they need a different button for refueling. Oh my, I'm getting a little bit irritated. Let me refuel, please. Thank you, thank you so much for letting me refuel. Ah yes, home sweet home. And not full of bloater poison on the way back. Very nice, I, call, I count that as a win in my books. Now, we can't just use that ability over and over and over again. There are some, how do you say, limitations to it. Oh, zombies wish to attack. Very well. Let's see if you can get through the ultimate defensive fortification. The door. No, you're not. Just keep swinging. They'll die. Just swing away. Got a jerk butt over here. There we go. Now, close the door. Prepare the defenses. No. Close the doors. Don't let them inside. Close the doors. What supposed to do for fun these days? <laughs> oh man, it's the doors are like. Oh. Is this a plague sample? No, I thought that was a plague sample. <laughs> okay. So I think that's probably good enough for today. We have finally taken some major steps. To oh, I definitely want my crossbow bolt. I do want that. And we have taken some significant steps towards progressing the game. We finally have our first base. And I have enough to build another thing. What should I build? Take a look. I don't think there's any need to build that yet. Um, I need water. Interesting. Um, what if I build a rain collector? That would be a cheap way to get water. Um, I'll do it. Let's build a water collector. Until I don't know what to do, at least. We'll just do that temporarily. And uh, then we'll be able to upgrade this. Because I don't want to build the watchtower just yet, I don't think. Haven't decided yet. But there you go. Now we actually have four outposts that we can build work with, which is nice. Overall, things I think are progressing decently. If we find more ways to get beds, we could migrate some of these inside. Like, we could move the workshop inside. Um, but otherwise, no. I think things are going just just perfectly good. We need more influence. We need more building materials. But what we're really looking for is a way to destroy play guards in a reliable manner. Really hoping to get either uh, uh, C4s or bloater plague grenades. Those would be my two preferable ways of destroying play guards. Some people are saying that heavy weapons are pretty good. Probably worth an investigation. But that's my game plan. Anyways, hope you learned something from this episode. Hopefully it was fun too. So, you know, what, what base did you think I was going to go for? Some people are surprised that I went to Providence Ridge. I'm not surprised as the bases here are insanely strong. Anyways, let me know everything down in the comment section. Like this video, if there's anything, subscribe for future Lethal Zone content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.